Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier. I'm the channel host here, and most often we're talking about drone work, and what you're seeing on screen right now is actually a screen capture, uh, a, a just, just a moment in time from a flight that I did this weekend um, for one of my clients. They're located way out in the middle of nowhere. They're... Uh, they're adding to their ranch property. They're building some new horse areas for the property. And so I have been tasked with um, doing regular time-lapse updates of the changes on the property. So I actually took a ride out yesterday and got myself all set up at their property. The property is over 40 acres in total, but the area that's changing is more like a 20 acre area. And you'll see some of that momentarily. So yeah, there's the screen cap of my setup. So I've actually got my iPad Mini 4 set up on a tripod, a um, couple of Pelican cases there. And I've actually got the controller in my hand because I'm just bringing the drone down from one of its flights. So the, uh, the big flights that I did yesterday, there are several different flights that I did. Number one was a bunch of still photos flying around the property. We actually picked areas and angles with the property owner a couple weeks ago. And so every time we go out, we'll be reshooting those same exact still photos. That layout was created with the Litchi app. So we've got a photo app that orbits the property area where the changes are happening. And those are all saved as JPEGs right now. After that flight was done, I then went ahead and did my time-lapse video flight, which I'm going to show you momentarily, um, which is coming out really nice in my opinion. And after we did the video orbits, I actually did a couple of flights to do another ortho mosaic 2D model. And the model's coming out really good. You can really see the changes, and I'll show you that quickly too. But first off, let's kill the QuickTime player here, and let's take a look at their project. So this morning I have been editing the project, and we're actually flashing back and forth between the start of the project and February 1st. So without any delay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And I'm actually going to open that screen up. So you can see I put a label up there January 15th. And basically every 10 seconds we transition between January and February. So here's what's happened since my first big visit in January 15th. There's a lot of clearing going on off to the right hand side. That's where the horse areas are going to be. Once again, I display January 15th again to show them all the tree cover that's in there and then we're going to see that transition again so a lot of clearing has been done very quickly so very impressive at how fast the um the land grading crew is going they're moving it along and it's pretty amazing as the um as the drone pilot to see all of these changes firsthand when i pulled up their driveway yesterday i was absolutely blown away by this because i'd only been out there a couple weeks before and a lot of clearing has been completed here. You can actually see their gate down here. There's the gate. And you can see the gate with more tree cover previously. Sorry for moving the mouse around there on you. But so you get the idea. So we do this, uh, we do this orbit around the property. The orbit, the height, and the angles were selected with the property owner. So as this progresses, we'll continue doing this loop, but I'll be adding in some other videos as well. So as a matter of fact, yesterday I did another video for a cinematic tour up the driveway, and I'll be keeping that one. Um, it's not going to be posted online for a little while. We're going to wait till we get closer to the end of the project. But this gives the property owners a really good idea of where they started from before starting into this project. And they can show it off to friends and family. They can show it off to the construction groups. And, you know... I think the construction group would probably be very interested in showing off how quickly they're progressing on this property and the next phases that are going to be coming along. So here we are with another January one as we're coming back toward the house. So you get the idea, but I wanted to share this one with you and talk you through it. This video flight was pre-programmed using Litchi. So I actually came out to the location weeks ago, created a flight path with the property owner, flew the flight path, and now I'm able to reuse that flight path over and over again and match it up with previous months. So it's going to be really interesting when we get to the end of this project and we do the final filming of the entire property and then compare it to that starting point back on January 15th. 
it's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, that's my opinion. I'm having fun with this. So um, I wanted to give you, the channel subscribers, an opportunity to see this change, this transition. And it is it is a huge change in a very short amount of time. So I'm looking forward to seeing when the uh, new stables go up and when the different arenas go in. It's going to be very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that one. So I'm not done with this yet. So I'm still working on this and working on the transitions. I've got a couple more videos to go in as well. But before I hop off of here, I'm just going to go back in another folder and I'm going for my orthos. So here we go. I wanted to share this one with you too. So I've already set up the January and February ortho mosaics that I'll be putting up on a deliverables webpage for the client. And they'll get to actually see what it looked like on January 15th from above and what it looks like today. So what I did is on January 15th, I flew a mission with Ground Station Pro and we actually modeled a lot more of the property than what you're seeing here. But I just, um, I just cropped this down because I wanted to show them the major areas. So we're gonna zoom this up really quick. On the right hand side in Photoshop, I have two layers. I have a February one and I have a January 15th. If I turn off the February, you can see January, and boy, can you see, I'm just gonna go in here, just grabbing my tool here. Um, in this area, you can really see what's changed, and let's go ahead and turn that off. So here is the previous uh, imaging uh, in ortho format from January 15th. Uh, by the way, all this stuff on the north side of the trees that's snow, so I can even zoom it in more here. So looking at the ortho, I can turn on February and you will see what a huge difference. So this is not perfectly aligned yet. I'll get these two layers perfectly aligned before they end up on the website, but then the property owner can really get a good idea. So between the still images we shot for them and the time-lapse video that we shot for them, and finally, this ortho showing off the huge changes at the property. Um, it gives the uh, property owners a really good bird's eye view, you know, <laughs> sorry, pun intended, but you get it. it it's, this is really displaying to them what is happening on your property today, how, how is the uh, construction going, how is the land clearing going, and I am really excited to be sharing more of this project with you as as it continues to grow so so i just wanted to share that one with you and as you can see i'm using final cut pro and basically i'm turning um a layer on and off and i did this every 10 seconds honestly all of the little sliders with january and february annoy me a little bit i'm going to have a conversation with the property owners and see if there's a better way that we can label these things so that they know when we're transitioning from one one day to another it's obvious in the video the differences, but just marking it out for them so that they know, you know, which one's January, which one's February, which one's March. It looks to me like I'm probably going to be popping out on this job site every two weeks at the speed that they're progressing, which is really exciting. So you'll be getting to see the final version of this uh, on channel as well, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions about setting up flight paths like this with Litchi or Ground Station Pro, let me know in the comments below. Also, up in the info cards in the upper right corner, there are links to my class on using Litchi for business applications like construction progression reports. So if you're interested in learning more about that, check out my class. I've got a link for you. And there's always a discount for subscribers who are part of this channel. All right. I need to get back to work uh, because I've got this client project and I'm actually working on another client project today as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some ideas about how you can work with a raw land site to show the changes on that raw land site as it's being developed into what should be a really cool horse ranch here in Arizona. All right, see you on the next video.